grab you. And we are looking for a metal flower over here. Hardy little plant. You'll help. Right, you will. I need to restock a lot of my uh, ingredients, I think. We're actually a little ways off from that flower, so I'm thinking about it. Right. No, 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 no. We're here. I see a flower anywhere? Any sign of a flower? There, there's something over there. Oh, destroyed machine. Not quite what I'm looking for, I'll be honest. Got something through... Well, this is a... This right there is a campfire. I, I'm sure I've been here before. And there were not corrupt machines around. But perhaps I am, in fact, mistaken. Wouldn't be the first time, I'll be honest with you. Ooh. Wait a second, is this something new? <gasps> I believe we found a secret that we had not found before. Yes, we are. China sick. Okay, let's have a look at you. Tax log, corruption minimal. Personal log, user 34778935. I have to be honest, I miss Guangdong already. I had a purpose there. I was busy all the time. Nobody here seems to get it. Sandy, Vanessa took me out last week. Welcome home, I guess. Some guy at the bar freaks out when he overhears how I just got back. Acts like I was a li living underground with mole people or something. Like I should be ashamed I actually wanted to have a job and work for a living. Ugh. Gets his reverse culture shock. Or oh, maybe I should just go back. Oh, okay. Interesting. Where is this flower, though? I, I'm not going to easily be able to look for anything if you're around. So. Honk. Eyeball time. Honk. Right, let's make a couple more of these. Expensive little things to make, but worth it. Grab you. No spoilers, please, BM. I thought that was a little bit obvious, given the title of the stream is No Spoilers. That includes telling me in which direction I need to go. Thank you, though, for the want to help, but it is kind of defeating the purpose of me exploring. I need to find this flower. Okay, I've wandered way off that flower. Okay. Fair enough. That is why I wasn't seeing it over there. I'm not sure how I got so mixed up, but uh, whatever. Uh, let's get down here. Whee! Oh, right. Okay. So, yeah. We, we were bloody miles up. My lord. How did I get so far off track? My goodness. Okay, let's have a look. Let's grab you. Hello, metal flower. Let's have a look at you. Summer grasses, all that remains of soldiers' dreams. Oh, wow, that's a little bit deep. My lord. If it weren't immediately obvious, BM, though... Uh, as I've said lots of times, but you may have missed it, you know, I'm not sure when you've been watching or how many of my videos Scrappers. you've you've seen in the past. But uh, my general general order of business when it comes to uh, RPGs is explore around the places where I'm meant to be going while still trying to generally make progress. In terms of, of Aloy's um, current situation, she's just put down the people who attack the proving and so i feel that she's a little bit more free in her direction for the time being ultimately of course we do want to head in the, the direction that we've been told to go but we are going to go in a bit of a roundabout way and i would very much like to check out these areas specifically 
I would like to see what we might be able to get from these creatures if we hunt them. Uh, I'm going to make my way up there, I think. We're more or less going on a bit of a roundabout path to swing back down to the, the gate. Uh, the north is uh, like a, it looks mountainous, certainly. It's very, very um, snowy up there, judging by the map. Let me just uh, show everyone in stream. This is what I'm assuming the uh, BM Foley is talking about. This little area. We've got a new quest there, apparently, and actually, we've also got a long leg over there that we might want to just grab because that'll probably. Uh, shed light on that whole area, and it's quite close to this new quest, so mm, I'd forgotten about the new quest, actually, uh, before having a quick look in there. So thank you very much for reminding me to, to check the map a little bit more thoroughly. I was uh, failing in my duties there a bit. Uh, right, let's grab these on the way. I'm just going to grab this. Don't mind me. Just stealing stuff. You saw nothing. But you should absolutely head to the Whistlebush. That's right. Over you. And... Donk. That weird bubbly goop, though, around your corpse is quite off-putting. Mostly because it hurts. I'm not sure why it burns, but it does. Some sort of corruption burn, I believe it is. Right. Down you go. Can we get a sight on it? Sort of. Oh, that'll do very nicely. Pop. Very nicely indeed. Getting good chunks of EXP from these. Doesn't take much extra work to kill a, a corrupt machine. It, it does if we're having to engage it in melee combat, but in many cases we can still kill them just as easily with our arrows. That being said, uh, oh, board heads. I am using uh, sharp shot arrows to take these ones down, but it's not a bad... Oh dear. Is it angry with me? I think it probably is. Let's uh, try and go around this side, get up into these red bushes. See what's around. We've got a destroyed watch over there. Got a broad head over there. Heavy runners that will bolt when disturbed, so they must be dealt with silently or quickly. I can override it, it is mountable. Horns destroying this component disables the charge attack. Blaze canisters on the back. Alright, I, I would actually quite like another um, steed. Over here. Oh, thank you very much, Dagon. Tell Sarah I wish her a very, very happy night. Is the whistle whistle bush the dark avac of Horizon? I mean, probably actually. Right then, you. Let's have a let's have a wander. Now, when it comes to skills. Yes, let's just grab it. I, we all know I want it, so should allow me to uh, grab all sorts of things now from the back of our steed. That is going to make this job a whole lot easier. Uh, some more broadheads over there, more bellowbacks, but there's a bandit camp over here. I think that's where we're going to head to. Now, what ecological role do these broadheads serve, I wonder? Because most of the machines that we've seen seem to serve an ecological role. Uh, but this one, I'm not so sure. What, what do you do? What are those things on the sides of your head? I can't quite tell what this does within the... Uh, or maybe does it, does it gather... Hmm, I can't tell, because the the grazers seem to churn up the ground, maybe to help with um, 
maybe to help with uh, plants and, 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 and farming in some sort of way. Though, a couple of people have said in chat that it looks like they have an enormous amount it's more blaze canisters. So, it is quite possible that they're gathering blaze or, or ga the the gathering like biomass i think someone mentioned in chat at one point for the other machines rost said that the machines do talk to each other so it, it's quite possible i mean that would make a lot of sense i wonder if it's a big storm this time okay another storm while we're heading towards a bandit camp really. kind of like not having to deal with that i'll be honest with you yeah <sighs> okay this is a level 25. It's a little bit above our level, but that's fine. Uh, also, notebook. What have I? What am I looking at? Oh, what? When did I see one of these? Hmm. Okay. Landscaping. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess it could be landscaping, but I don't really think that it would. I don't think a machine would necessarily care about... Well, actually, maybe it would care about the landscape, you know, to create rain shadow and stuff like that. I mean, it depends what the machines are doing. The watchers seem to watch herds. That seems to be their role, as evidenced by their name. The scrappers break down the watchers, and we've seen that they're made in, a, in like, a massive factory. So I imagine the scrappers break down defunct robots and return the materials to the factory. And I... I you know what? I guess that could be exactly what the other machines are doing as well like the, the grazer perhaps they're churning stuff up to create blaze to take back as fuel for the main factory to produce more machines uh, i mean does it need a purpose life doesn't strictly have a purpose you know just breeding is something we do a lot of um you know and just generally evolution has has moved towards um encouraging that um but one could argue that life has no greater direction um, perhaps the machines don't. They just they just do what needs to be done to facilitate further creation of machines. It's very, very interesting. But uh, able to engage on land and water, its bulk belies the speed of its distance-closing lunge attacks. Uh, it has a freeze sack, though. A blaze, a blaze and freeze. Ooh. That's interesting. Uh, Alright. Luminous braiding. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I must have uh, briefly moved my uh, focus over that while I was looking in the swamp area where I saw the goon talk, maybe. Okay, right, time for me to get off. There's loads of bandits around here. Loads of bandits. Hmm. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's approach slowly. Now, we haven't got uh, loot bandits. What's that? Oh, save point, campfire. We haven't got nil here this time, so... Oh, no, there are... No, prisoners. Ancient debris. So I'm not really sure if there's any real reason to do this but um, this approach seems much more heavily guarded than it looks like that side is so i'm gonna switch sides what appears oh actually maybe no we can't get up here maybe this is just like a um like a cliff what on earth did that that boar is clearly magical Hello, Takendo. Welcome to the stream. The game is going really, really well. Thank you. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think the braiding is the stuff that we're going to need for, uh, for armor. But yeah, I, I'm really enjoying the theory crafting so far in the game. And, I, and I, for the most part, I'm quite enjoying the theory crafting going on in chat. And I massively appreciate that some people do know the answers to these questions, and, and I see them mentioning that, that it's quite enjoyable 
watching those who don't know kind of craft theories. Uh, and I can I can totally understand where that would come from. Like if you already know what the answer to to X, Y, and Z is, seeing people fumbling around trying to work out the answer themselves would probably be quite uh, quite engaging actually. Um, but I, I want to say a massive thank you for you know resisting the obvious and, and spoiling it. Right, we got and it's sniper. Now oh, is anyone watching the snipers? Elite Bandit Archer. Elite Bandit Sniper. That's a, just a regular Bandit Sniper. Maybe I should approach from that side. Let's try and keep low. Move between the bushes because what seems to happen is if they spot us, they don't immediately work out that we're there. Oh, there we go. There's the Bandit Camp Alarm. Right, now, does anyone walk up here? I like track. Let's see anyone who does. Do you walk anywhere? Right, slugger. No, you don't seem to walk anywhere. You don't seem to walk anywhere. So I think we may be safe. Unless you've got some crazy sort of path to take. No, I think we may be safe in taking out this. Sniper over here. Are we going to be able to, though, is the question. Uh, let's take two arrows, just in case. Punk. Now, as far as I could tell, that was the only enemy guarding this area. So we should be able to steal a bit of closer now. Observe the entry point. Can we even get in from this side? Maybe not. Maybe not, but... Now we've got a couple more that we can see. Uh, if nothing else, now we can move around a little bit more freely over this side. No, that is not what I meant to do. Is there anything around here I need to be aware of? Looks like we might be able to sneak our way in on this side. Sneak is the operative word. I, I would say sneak is the operative word. Is there anything over here to see? Sliding down, but it doesn't look like this is a building. From the outside, it looked like it would be, but it looks like we may be actually uh, just in a full-on ruin. Now, the problem here... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, it actually looks okay. Uh, now, the problem I was going to say here is that, uh, unfortunately, we don't easily have... Uh, Anything to hide in. Where are people wandering? Wandering around quite a lot. I would want to take you out before you got close. And there's another one who w seems to wander up here occasionally. Is it you? And I can't alarm. There's someone who seems to wander back and forth. Yeah, you. There we are. I need to take both of these people out before they could become a problem for me. Let's be over here for now. Right, so that path you take is fairly wide. Oh, no, that's super not what I wanted. There you go. Alright, so these two... I'm going to need to wipe out carefully... As they're walking back and forth. They're the only ones that I can see at the moment. And now would probably be my chance, if I'm honest. I'm going to wait for you to move a little bit further on. Oh, 
The other one on their way back. It does appear that they're on their way back, but ah, oh, damn it. Let's go for it now. Punk. You stay down. Knock another arrow. Where's the other one? There was another one, I'm sure of it. There we are. We're on the way. Oh, wait. Ah, you're an elite bandit, aren't you? Means you're going to be harder to kill, aren't you? Let me check on my skills. You just right. Press R1 to perform a silent takedown on heavy and elite human enemies. So I can do that still. So par. You know what? Two of these arrows to the face, though. Should still be enough. Hope. Yes. There we go. But it wasn't a stealth kill anymore. That's something to be aware of. Let's grab this. Full health potion, I approve. Now there are two... Bandits around here. We've got a bandit slugger. Elite bandit dodge. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, three bandits. We've got the elite bandit sniper over there. Any more that I need to be aware of? We've got someone who wanders up and down this path. Oh dear. That's another elite as well. Oh, you take a very wide route. I think we may have just lucked in there. I'm taking out this bandit just before the point in the path that uh, an elite bandit would have noticed them from. I don't think I'm going to push around in that corner any further. I don't think that would be wise. I think instead we're going to move... Ooh. Oh, I destroyed the watching memory. I'd like to take out this... Elite Bandit Wanderer. Oh, that's a, such a convoluted path that it has, though. That alarm will wake up the whole camp. And more besides. So basically, I need to eliminate... Uh-oh. 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 Yes, it is. We gotta burn our drawers, boys. Find it. Damn it. Where's the slugger? Okay, well, we're still hidden for the time being. Is there a way up that I can use? No, it doesn't look like it is. No, that's annoying. Alright, we're gonna have to be very careful here. Everything's sharp and looming in the rain. As soon as the bandit slug has moved on. There's just nowhere for me to hide out right here. It's really rather vexing. Maybe if I go around here... Oh, there we are. Some... Uh, bushes here. Are they, are they gonna allow me to stealth? No. Well, that's not very useful, I'll be honest. Okay, we have got wanderers, and they are wandering toward me, which is somewhat worrisome. Right, you're coming this way. Trade the prisoners for food, he says. Okay, shh, 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 shh. Only dreams now. Oh, use this box. Right, so we've got a bunch of wanderers over here then. You marked. Yeah, unfortunate for us. There are a bunch over there, but I don't think they're moving. 
Right now, because there's so much wandering around in this area, I think the best place for us to be is not here. So, we're going to make a run for this side. There we go. Now, I don't think they're going to be able to spot us from over there, but... Maybe able to take out a couple of enemies over here. Who's that over there? Bandit fighter. Okay. Pop. Now, you're just a regular human, so I shouldn't need to do this. Unfortunately, no. Is there a way that I can break this, I wonder? Okay, alarm's down. Oh, well, there is. Haha! -ha! I've made it leak all of its fluid out. Alright, so we're no longer going to have to worry about the alarm then. Well, I can only imagine that you're going to be very uh, perturbed once you notice that A, your friend is dead, and also the alarm is broken. Because those things don't tend to happen. By themselves, anyway. I mean, they, they do tend to happen. The whole reason why you're on high alert, but... Will you please turn around, mate? Um... Can I get you to possibly be interested in checking this out? Oh, yes, good. Perfect. Who spotted it? Right, okay. That was a bad time to... Oh, you just came around the corner just as I was lining up that shot, really? Damn it. That is super unfortunate. I need to not be here anymore. Ah. Don't mind me. I mean, by all means, notice that your friends are dead because you can't ring an alarm anymore. Ha ha ha! Well, that would have been nice if I could have done that all without being noticed. Though... Oh, really? You spotted me? Ah, oh, poop, you did. It would have been nice to have been able to do all of this without being uh, sighted once, but... Uh... Okay. Tonk. It's one down. Hello. That's right, just stand there. Give me a nice uh, face shot, please. Very much appreciated, I assure you. Well, we've got one down there as well, who's coming through, it seems. Regular human, D don't need a particularly uh, high powered shot there. Ouch, that did hurt a lot, actually. And pop. And that's going to hurt. No, thank you. Make them I really, really wish you wouldn't, though. That's right. Alright, who can aim fastest? Me. That hurts a lot, though. Those bloody arrows. <sighs> okay, there's loads down there I'm going to need to take out that are now on high alert, but eh, there's not a lot I can do about it. I'm going to have to stalk our way through. I need this. Yes, I do. What do you got? Nothing. There we go. Anyone else coming this way? Hopefully not. Oh, yes, they are. They spotted me? Yes, they have. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's grab this, there's a glass. Don't mind me while I just loot people whilst, uh, you know, you're hunting me. Uh, she went that away. Did Aloy literally just say she went that away? So I think that's actually kind of darling. Hold still. Thank you. Very polite. But we can't grab that one, so I'll just leave it as. Oh! Are they, though? Over here. Yeah, see? I didn't think so. 
No. Also. No. No. That was a little bit more more brutal than uh, really should have, but uh, oh, really and desecrating the corpse, Aloy. I'm fairly certain Ross to talk you better. Right, there's not that many <laughs> enemies left at this point. Uh, all right. Well, we don't need to be as concerned about this place anymore because we've wiped out most people who live they here. Prisoners for nothing good. That is a question that I would like answered as well. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's set about releasing the prisoners first and foremost. Hello. Look. It's okay. In a moment, you'll be free. They're a little bit more alert than I would have liked before releasing you, but I'm gonna get you out. Super sorry about that. Still, you're being released, so you know. Hopefully, you can get out of here. Enjoy your freedom. Such that it is. We've got supply crates. My broadhead. Ancient debris. More ancient debris. Wait a second, are you coming with me? Oh no, good. I was a little bit concerned about that, I'll be honest with you. And the toothbrick ring chimes, black bracelet, ancient sculpture. My broadhead, being very loyal. Hello. Are you coming with? Because I super don't want you to get hurt. Like, massively don't want you to be out here and getting hurt. Please don't. This is not why I've saved you. There's ancient debris out there. Oh no, there's a watcher. That's the archer. Never mind. Is there not ancient debris over here in some direction? I'm certain I scanned them. There we go, right there. Ancient debris, there we are. Let's go and get that then. We've already taken out quite a lot of the enemies. Pretty much all of the enemies on this side. I've been subscribed to this person named Dark Avak on YouTube for years. Same person. Uh, oh. no. I mean, I Dark Avak is like a like a, a, a character that I sometimes you know tongue in cheekedly use, but it's not the name of my YouTube channel. No, I am Avak. Dark Avak is what happens to me when I drink coffee, etc, etc, etc. Um, you know, all very tongue-in-cheek, but uh, if there is someone actually out there called Dark Avak, that seems a little bit curious. Right, so, we need to be sneaky again now, guys. Please, could you not be here, though? I feel that this is going to get bad for you. Don't mind me. Just helping myself to a lot of stuff. For the road, you know. Now, there is a lot of people down there, though. Where are you going? Are you coming all the way up here? You are. I really strongly advise my Nora friends not to be there anymore. If you could, please be over here instead. There you go. Bandit warrior. There we are. Oh, Dark Avak was the name in the Rimworld series you watched. Yes, and that is definitely me. Yes. It was Dark Avak with, with a wog named Yoko and, and a penchan for eating people? If so, yes. Absolutely. The one and the same. You've been so for a long time. Well, Welcome. I hope you enjoy the stream, since it sounds like this is possibly one of the first of my streams that you've uh, had the chance to watch. I'm also very hopeful that you enjoyed the Dark Avak uh, Rimworld series. Dark Avak's been in a try. few um, 
series at this point. Uh, I think the first one, and the, probably the one that you, if you've been sub to me for years, the, probably the one that you would recognize would be A Song of Fur and Steel. That was the one where I first really introduced the whole, you know, wag stuff. I would love to be up there, though. Oh, how I would like it. Where are you going? Okay, you are going to die. That is where you're going. Punk. There we go. Now, who else is around here wandering about? Probably quite a few people, unfortunately, but... They all appear to be in there. Where are you headed? Hunk. Shh. No one needs to know. Now, we can stand over here and wait for their friends to come and investigate. Or we can continue to have a look around. Which we'll do, I think. And it's Slugger. We got some ancient debris in there, I think. Hello, Yuku. Oh, Yaku, rather. Ancient black bracelet. Shh. Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Back into the whistle bush. Ah, where are they? Are you guys marked? Oh, no, there we go. Oh, I'd love a drink. Thank you. Uh, I don't really mind what. Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Is she lab MVP? Right, let's see if we can't get up on top of this structure. Right. No one here. There absolutely is someone here. And honestly, if they decide that, oh well, no, my mistake. Probably, uh, probably nothing to be worried about. I mean, you know, we we just randomly drop dead all the time. If we stopped what we were doing in order to have a look around every time someone randomly turned up dead we'd never get anything done I kind of feel that in that case you kind of deserve to be shot you brought this on yourselves let's be honest with ourselves now that was dumb is there anything in there? Oh, that's a corpse I'll deal with that. Get up here. And from here, I should be able to take out pretty much everyone. I'm careful about it, but the problem is catching them when no one else is looking their way. Is there anyone else here, or are these the last bandits in this entire camp? I think they're the last bandits in the entire camp. Knock another arrow, please. Punk. Hey, look up. What do you mean look up? Did you actually spy me? Because I'd be most vexed if you did. Oh, really? Punk. Calm. Indeed, calm. I think they know where what we are, though, however. Nothing. There's no one here. There is definitely not... Definitely not alone. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely not alone. We, whoever else is here with you is definitely not uh, looking down on you right now. Getting prepared to kill your friends. That was no chance that that is occurring right now. There we go. Yeah, that's right. Go and check on your matey over there. Let's get that bar charge. Man down. Indeed. And pop, bunk. There we go. Ross always said, "Patience." Did Ross ask, actually teach you how to hunt humans? I was hoping that you just picked this up along the way. I don't know. You uh, you paid attention to the wrong wrong person a little bit, and and just just slowly fell fell from the way. The path that Ross carefully set for you, but no, it appears that in fact all this time. Also, the, the, the Nora are just... No one saw that. 
What? Why? There we go. Oh! Did you just kill the bandit by stabbing him in the bum? Because I don't approve. Okay. Well, I don't think we need to sneak anymore. Level 23 reached. Campfire the secured. Is loose everywhere. It said the Karja Fort has closed the border. Okay. The valley is sealed. But while we're looking at that, um, I think maybe getting critical hit two would be a worthwhile skill to grab. Simply because we are getting into fights a decent amount of the time, and when we do, it comes down to us being able to quietly eliminate our opponents. Uh, did all of the bandit loot get lost? I really hope not, because there was quite a lot left. The border is closed. You're going to dissuade me from eliminating... Ah, there we are. Okay. You had a fire spitter. Okay. So, I'm fairly certain this is uh, just straight up a special heavy weapon. Like so. And, uh... uh no. Okay, that, that is the wrong button. There we go. And I would like to use the fire spitter and... Yes. Basically, explodey rockets. Not the subtlest of, of uh, means to deliver death unto your enemies. But, what it lacks in subtlety, it does make up for in disruptive capability, I believe. Perhaps even the world. Let's have a quick save here. The border is closed, but it won't stop the corruption. Mark my words. Excuse Hello. me. I'm saying a prayer to all mother. Very well. I will leave you to it then. Uh, loot that archer, and I think I may have now looted yeah, everything. Enough. Now, this was a level 25 camp. Maybe there was a stairs down here? Seriously, there was a way up through a, a little stairway. Oh, that would have been so sneaky to attack them through this. Ah, that would have been grand. Oh, well. Bit of a shame that we missed out on that opportunity, really. But they all would have died if not for her. I guess... I guess I can forgive myself for that one. All right, let's go and uh, speak with the. Aloy be Hello. praised for our new home. You're welcome. Uh, that's very kind of you. There was a ladder. I completely missed it. I was not being very observant, it seems. Uh, we. Here's the merchant. On the other side of the camp. There were a lot of ladders, apparently, and I missed them all, because I'm observant. Oh, yes, so they were. <laughs> uh, hello, merchant. What kind of weapons uh, do you have? Uh, still nothing that I really want from there. What about outfits? Let's have a look at your, your outfits. Um, Nora Survivor Heavy. I, oh, to get the Nora Protector Heavy, I would need a Shell Weaver Hunt, but I can now get the Nora Silent Hunter. Very rare. Stitch it for stealth. This outfit makes the wearer harder to see and to hear. Yes, finally an upgrade. There we go. Yes, let's go ahead and equip it. And now, let's have a look at that. New equipment, everyone. Been a little while coming, I think. We deserved it. Right, let's uh, modify outfits. All right, previously we had some extra elemental protection. Uh, oh no, sorry, that's the Banuk Ice Hunter. Uh, previously we had 25 stealth, and that was with a bonus stealth piece. Now, what kind of stuff do we have here? We can have 5% stealth. That's not particularly good, though. 10% re resist ranged... Weapon attacks, uh, melee attack resistance, which would be nice. 
Resistant corruption would be very good as well. Ooh. Resist fire and resist... I, you know what? Sure. This is not exactly the best... What? Now there's two? You see, generally speaking, I want this for stealth. Oh, man. I didn't realize I had two of them. Otherwise, I would have equipped both. That's a bit annoying. Oh, well. Uh, Number Thunder, thank you very much for the subscription. A while ago. I do apologize for, for missing that. And, uh... Um... Arsenic Cookie. What a fantastic name you have. Thank you also for the subscription a little while ago. And Dead X Lantern. Thank you very much for the 13-month resub. Uh, right. I want to have good things equipped. I really do. But this is what I should be wearing when I'm just trying to not uh, be caught. I've got other stuff to wear to resist damage. That's the way I'm going to be uh, playing it. No, whether or not I remember to equip different Outfits? Nah, that's something entirely different. But, Banook Sickness Eater. Oh, now I definitely should be equipping that. Nora's Heavy Survivor. Oh, my outfit satchel is full. Well, let me fix that. Why is that one still showing up? I'm going to stick that all the way up a little bit. Right, can we get some more outfits now? I wouldn't mind taking this. Nor a heavy survivor. I'm not going to equip it. And I'll also take the sickness eater. Not going to equip it. These should allow me to switch to different items depending on, on what I need. And the Nora protector heavy. I mean, if I'm straight up going to be having a fight I can't really get out of, that would be a good one. Um, but the different... Um, uh, the different equipment will be good to use at different times based on, on what I'm fighting. Uh, Self and Metal Shard, this is the only reason to have this. So, Mark for Sale. Self and Metal Shards, the Ancient Metal Eye. Getting all of these set up for sale. Because I don't need any of them. They serve no other purpose. Are there any other things that I could uh, get rid of? No, I won't get rid of that. I will get rid of this, though. Freeze root. No. Generally, I'll keep two stacks of any material, I think, is the uh, route we're going to go with there. Wow, we got so much stuff to sell. My lord. Uh, is there anything else? No, I think that's good. Let's uh, sell all marked goods. That made us quite a lot of cash. All right, we've got a bunch of new stuff. Oh, this is a new merchant check if there's a free loot box. That is such a good point. Yes. We'll take that. Thank you. Special modification box. Should I spend a ridiculous amount of shards on this? Yeah, I'm going to. Look, I know. I know. But I don't spend a lot of my cash that often, so I feel it's fine. <sighs> okay. So. Let's open all of these, of which there are going to be fantastic amounts of them because I am terrible at opening my uh, various uh, supply boxes. We have got so many resources now. My lord. I could probably sell quite a lot. And a weapon coil. I'm not sure what this one's going to have. Oh, uh, it's showing nothing apparently. Special items, uh, we've checked out all of these. Resources, we've got loads in there. Got these two. Why is that showing up? Let's go back in and see if that's still... No, there we are, it's fixed itself now. Seems that I just needed to, to look in there. Right, so what are the modifications we just picked up? Wow. Those are some... Pretty stonkingly good effects there. Yeah. I am very much looking forward to trying those out. Alright, I think that's good for now. 
Hey, Akasa, how are you doing, Kariat? The machines, they've been driven mad. Right. Well, we've gotten the campfire, it seems. We've got two machine points, and then I want to deal with these. We have got a quest over there, also a metal flower and a Banuk figure. Um, we'll see what this general area is like, I think. We're probably going to head on down to the, the the west reasonably soon. I might grab this uh, new quest just to to see what we need to do first and possibly the, the long legs. Uh, I mean, uh, maybe I'll do everything. I don't know. I really don't know. We will see. Don't worry about the corruption. I'm taking care of it very slowly, but I am taking care of it. I promise. Oh, Mother, protect us. The Karja have sealed off the valley to save themselves from corruption. Well, I mean... We're not their tribe, so can we really expect them to help us out? I am feeding my inner horde, it is true. Oh, Casa is in the bath, having cleaned the ferrets' uh, cages. Casa is amazing, by the way. And uh, bonding with Tali for a bit. Oh, that's lovely. I'm glad that you had a chance to bond with them a bit. Castle was having a little bit of uh, trouble with Athena. And so, uh, trying to give her plenty of opportunity to have bonding time with them. Right. Those are... Those sawtooths over in the distance? I'm not sure, but... Yeah, those are definitely sorted. Oh, what are we going to do with them? But ah, the joys of technology. Being able to keep up with the stream while in the bath. Marvellous. Right, fire bellabacks. See, that's the thing, though. You said fire bellabacks the last time, and then it ended up not being fire bellabacks. In fact, I do believe it ended up being ice bellabacks. So... What is it? Fire bellabacks or ice bellabacks? Scoundrels. Ooh, better move quickly. Oof, I think we got away with it. I don't think it's one of Now, the problem is, we've also got that. Hmm. I kind of want to knock off the parts for that thing. I want to knock off the tray at the back so that it's basically forced to constantly hold it on. Let's see. Is that a... Is that a Glintork? Is that a Glintork? Oh my lord, really? This is not very fun times for me. Right, let's mark you. Mark another arrow. And hold. Again, please. No. It doesn't know where I am. I messed that up. So I just need to be careful. I do need to knock that lock off. But, uh... Let's move a little bit. Tear blast would be good. Does no damage, but it'll tear off armor. I, I don't know. Um. Hello. Let me just have another quick look at the notes on the um, Shell Walker. It has, although it looks like he's got a radar, it doesn't actually have one. So I could knock off the lightning gun, but honestly, if I just deal with the crate, That's it, it so. will it'll stop worrying about using its lightning gun anyway. There we go. It is going to be very worried now about that crate. Or should be. 
it will pick it up with its lightning gun and hold it on its back. So, we effectively get rid of the lightning gun anyway. Marvellous. Right, so we've taken out a big bit of the trouble that you could cause me. However, I do want to take out the uh, lightning gun entirely if I can. Oh. One. And yes, it is quite concerned. But it doesn't know what I am. I'm not torturing the poor shell walkers. How dare you? I'm playing with them. Hello. As soon as you're done and go back to your other work, I will shoot your claw off. But that crate is getting really messed up, I feel. No, 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 no. I am not here. You will find that I am, in fact, just a whistle bush. A whistle bush. Oh, damn it, I need more. Oh. Here they come. oh, have they noticed me? I may have. I think I may have busted up that claw. No, it's still there. I'm almost tempted to just, just to fight this out because uh, it's slow going, waiting for it to do its stuff and then move on. Don't mind me. There's your friendly neighborhood whistle bush. They go on forever. Uh that was that was a mistake. Unless it wasn't. Okay, it was a mistake actually. Yeah. That was a big mistake. I totally did not mean to use that particular button. Time. There we go. You little scallywag, you. Nope, thanks. Nope. Ah, 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 now. Don't be naughty. There we go. Right. I really would rather not have to... Oh, no. No! Ugh. Knock another arrow, please. Nah, balls. There we go. Get in there and attack. Oh, really? A charger as well? Why? Why? Just not be alive, please. Uh, kill it. Right, that's good. Move on. Also, I need... More healing. A lot more healing, actually. One. Two. Good enough for army work. Block. Another one. There we go. No thanks. Knock another arrow. Well, that's rubbish. Oh, no. Change direction. Nope. Oh, saved by tree. Right, how many arrows have we got knocked? We've got two knocked. Don't walk on to the flames, please. And again. And again. There we go. That was so messy in the end. And all because I pressed the wrong bloody button. I spent all that time just trying to get rid of the shell walker. Is the Shellwalker's cargo even still there? I don't think it is. And that's the most upsetting of all of the things. Oh, you did get a broadhead heart, though. I suppose that's not too bad. Did we, did we do a clever and get the Shellwalker to die somewhere outside of the range of the stuff we were fighting? We... Uh, no. 
Dang it. I was trying so hard. Trying so hard to get the shell walkers goodies. But no. 